Hello bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club, thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the 2013 released horror gothic fiction novel, that is Printer's Devil Court by Susan Hill. This story here revolves around a gentleman named Hugh, set mainly in old time London. Hugh is an up and coming doctor and he's boarding at a lodge called Printer's Devil Court. In this lodge, four gentlemen, all doctors, one night over brandy, port and watching a fire. The four doctors have a conversation about the meaning of life, biblical times, and also if it says in the Bible that somebody can come back from the dead, scientifically, can that be done? What carries on throughout this book is basically Hugh detailing this book from his point of view, detailing their comings and goings, and their adventures to answer the simple question, can you bring somebody that has died back to life? So, I've just finished Printer's Devil Court by Susan Hill, and this is my reflection of this book. The book itself is in three parts. It is a, not a letter, but it's a story written from Hugh's point of view. It's him detailing the first part, him in old time London, himself meeting the fellow doctors and just explaining what is going on in his life at that time. It gets up to the part where they question whether or not you can resurrect the dead per se. The second portion of the book is the tales in relation to basically trying to do that. The third portion of the book is him after those experiments happen and what happens to his life, um, you know, post that and until his death. Now, I found this book very interesting and it had me yearning for more. It is a short little book, 100 pages, and I found myself being captivated by the story, especially from the main character's point of view, so Hugh, because he's detailing it as if it was happening, um, or if he was recording it in, you know, in, in, a, in a book for somebody else to read. And in essence, that's what you end up with, is the book that he wrote. I have only had one other book that sort of went into the paranormal ghostish story and that was Mexican Gothic that I read last year. I can't compare one to the other but with Prince's Devil Court and also with Mexican Gothic I think knowing now that they were paranormal ghost stories made it a bit more interesting. The second part of this book is absolutely wacky in the sense that it's old time London and the doctors are doing some Jekyll and Hyde type of shit. <laughs> That's the easiest way to explain it. You gotta have a read of it. Um, so it's it's a little bit wacky in that sense, but it's also great how it's captivated because the way in which it's delivered from Hugh's point of view, it takes you into the situation so you feel like you're actually experiencing what's going on. The ghost part in the story, I wanted more. I mean, when the ghost appears, you can sort of see it coming based on the narration of where the story's panning out. However, the way in which the ghost comes, the reason why the ghost comes, and what the ghost is trying to do, all fit well with the actual storyline, um, which is the the main part and part two of the story. So it was really well done and really good to tie everything together. I just wanted more spooky ghosts. So overall, Printer's Devil Court 
by Susan Hill. I did enjoy it. I found myself captivated, especially with the lead-in into section two, and probably when they start discussing the biblical senses of bringing people back from the dead, I was a bit worried where we were going on to, going, oh, is this going to be like a very uh, Bible-heavy direction for the story? But it wasn't. It was just the catalyst of a discussion then, you know, which plays out in the second part of the book, uh, which is the actions of that discussion. So, with that being said, will Printer's Devil Court by Susan Hill be going on to my bookshelf? The answer is no. However, I struggled with the no portion because I really enjoyed this small little book. It was a fun, enjoyable read. I wanted more. The ending was great. The ghost portion of the story actually tied into the story and made sense. However, I just wouldn't reread the book. In saying that, Susan Hill is now on my radar and there is another book of hers that I am going to potentially try and track down. And if I can pick it up, excellent, because I'm intrigued by her writing and I'm intrigued to see whether or not she can hold my attention for, say, 300, 400 pages in addition to what she did, you know, for 100 or so pages in this book. But yeah, unfortunately, Printer's Devil Court, you will not be making my bookshelf. Now, as a customs here on the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another book has to open, and it is now time to find out what the next read is for the Weekend Readers Book Club in the spooky season. Bookworms, we can confirm that the next read on the Weekend Readers Book Club is The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I have been looking forward to reading this book for a whole year. I wanted to keep this book for October because it was the spooky season. This book was a 2021 Goodreads Best Horror Book. It won the award. I'm excited to read this. Don't really know much about it. All I know is it won. So I've got some expectation. I hope it blows me away. But The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. You are our next read. So bookworms, that there was our discussion and review of Printer's Devil Court by Susan Hill. A great little book that I did enjoy reading. I just wouldn't reread it again. However, I have now got Susan Hill on my radar in relation to picking up another book. Hopefully I can get that of hers and then we'll give a full-blown say three four hundred page novel of hers ago now if you would like to engage with us you can we are over on instagram at weekend readers book club and you can find our podcast available on youtube and on many podcast providers via searching the weekend readers until next time thanks again for joining us and bookworms happy reading